Today in this video, I'll talk about one must-have tool for Dynamics 365 developer. That is XRM Toolbox. We have a lot of other tools as well like Level Up for Dynamics 365, CRM REST Builders and others to make our work easier and efficient. But uh, apart from all these tools, I think XRM Toolbox is one of the most popular, most popular and most used tool in Dynamics 365. So today in this video, I'll cover uh, the XRM Toolbox intro part, introduction part, then we'll see uh, why we use XRM Toolbox, their features, advantages, how we can download it, install it, and how we can create the connections. After all these things, we'll also see uh, one example by installing uh, any tool from uh, XRM Toolbox and uh, we'll perform some actions. So without wasting any time, let's go for introduction part. So what is XRM Toolbox? So in order to know about XRM Toolbox, you can uh, go to xrmtoolbox.com. Here you'll see uh, their uh, descriptions uh, for developers, for uh, for everyone. Okay. So this XRM Toolbox, it is a popular tool used in Dynamics 365. We can use it for various purposes, like for customizations, data management, administration tasks, and etc. So basically, uh, if you see the uh, the title of XRM Toolbox, it says it so it says that the ultimate set of tools for Microsoft Dataverse. It means that they have a lot of tools available under XRM Toolbox. In order to know how many tools are available and what are them, you just need to go to this URL. So currently they are having 334 tools so far and they're still counting. So later on they may there may be 400 or 500 tools. It depends. So basically it provides a collection of tools and plugins that can make our Dynamics 365 work more easier and efficient. We can perform activities like fetch XML queries, plugin development, data import export, schema customizations, and more, all within the same XRM toolbox interface. So it has more, 334 tools or so more than that, which makes our work more easier and we can also perform the same thing in the less time. So according to me, I feel for all the Dynamics 365 developers, it can be considered as one of the most valuable tool or resource to enhance their productivity, to increase their efficiency, to save their time, and to perform the to, to perform uh, the task whichever can't be accomplished by out of the box feature. Also, in order to download it, you need to go to xrmtoolbox.com and and to see what are the tools available under them. You refer this this URL. I'll be providing in the detail sections. So now, why do we use XRM Toolbox or what are the features or advantages of XRM Toolbox? There are literally a lot of advantages because they have 334 tools and each of them are having uh, some or other advantages. So I'll be covering this major advantages like wide range of tools, user-friendly interface, plugin store, uh, bulk data operations, solution management, fetch XML queries, extensibility, uh, it can be used for security management, workflow, process automations. So these are the basic one. So uh, this it has if you open once you download it and install the XRM toolbox, you will be able to see it has very simple and easy to use interface. It don't take much time or data uh, to download it. Just click on download. Within seconds, it will be downloaded. You can install it. It's very easy. Within a, within few seconds, you'll be able to complete it. So it's very easy and user friendly. For plugin store, uh, XRM Toolbox has a built-in plugin store where you can browse and install various tools for plugins. And you can add, you can provide additional capabilities for different tasks related to plugin. For bulk data operations, it makes very easy to handle large amount of data, including importing, exporting the solution, updating, and deleting all those things. Uh, there, there are some, uh, some features which can't be uh, done through uh, out-of-the-box feature of Dynamics 365. Like, uh, document templates can't be exported to any solution. So for that, we can use XRM Toolbox. So it, it helps uh, uh, it help in solution management as well. So you can use this tool to import or export solution, the same I told. Uh, we, can, we use uh, FHXML as well here for retrieving and analyzing the data or to analyze the queries. So these are just few, uh, few, of, few of the examples, few of the advantages. Uh, we can also use tools for automating business processes, managing workflows. They have very good community supports. So these are just few examples of what XRM Toolbox can do. It is a versatile tool. Uh, that's very popular. If you are working uh, for under Dynamics 365, then you must be knowing it. Uh, 
So it offers a wide range of features. It simplifies and improves our task related customizations, development task and all it is same. So these were the intro part and advantage or uh, features part. Now you know, we'll see how to download it, install it and how to create the connections and use any tools. So in order to download it, you just need to go to xrmtoolbox.com. Here we have download latest version. Just click on that. Okay, download it. It will be downloaded as a zip file. We have to extract it. So let's close it and let's go to downloads. All right. So in order to first use it, we have to unblock the, uh, before extracting the zip file, we have to unblock some of the feature. So just right click on that, go to properties and here you can see unblock, proper, unblock checkbox. Click on that, click OK. Now let's just extract it. Extract to. Documents, new folder. Okay. Now it is extracted. Let's close this window. Close this window. Here is the file. XRM toolbox. Open it. Now you can see there are a lot of DLL files. Uh, so many things. Uh, so you just ignore all these things. Scroll down and uh, here you will see XRM toolbox application. So just double click on that. Now it will open XRM toolbox interface. It may take some seconds, just wait. Okay, so here you can see, uh, here we have so many options. Uh, here is the option to connect windows configurations. And these are the recently tools which I have used. I used for some other purpose and all. So these are the uh, connected environment and tools which I have used. On the right side, you will be able to see uh, the quick actions. If you want to download any library or to see any library, you can see from there. Here we have documentation so documentation for user developers you can just click on any of them and here you see uh, where is it documentation for developers so uh, here we have multiple connection plugin control base install xrm toolbox these are the some of the problems or faqs or some other information which can be utilized by developers for their purpose or tasks so you can refer all these uh, documentation for user followers and twitter and all these are the tools connections you can refer from the right side now here uh, in order to create a new connection we have to click on connect button just click on the connect button here i have already connected with one of the environment so ignore this i'll just show you the how to create a new connection so for that click on new connection And now here we have different ways to connect to XRM toolbox. We have connection wizard, Microsoft login control, certificate, connection string, multi-factor authentication, client ID and secret ID, so many. So I am going to show, uh, we are going to go with the Microsoft login control. We'll just provide our credentials and it will be logged in. But in order to know about connection wizard, these things, I'll just give you a hint. So this Microsoft login control, it will, we, uh, it will authenticate using Microsoft credentials, our login passwords and username. And uh, same here we have client ID. This client ID, it will connect using a specified string. Uh, whenever you, uh, in order to know more about this, I will uh, cover in the next blog. You can refer in the same description. So you can connect using, using a specified connection string and some parameters. Same with the connection wizard here. Uh, it is a guided step-by-step -step setup for selecting connections and other details and all. Uh, coming to certificate, this uh, it connects using a certificate installed in the environment. So just ignore these parts. In order to know more about it, how to uh, connect through this method, uh, just uh, see the uh, another blog in the details. I have covered that as well. So let's click go with the Microsoft login control. Click on that and select used uh, default configuration click on open open microsoft login control here we'll get op uh, options for on premise version and online version so just select office 365 display list of organizations so advanced this one if you are having multiple environments 
like dev uat productions and some other so in order to select any of the particular environment you can click on display list of available organization and if you click on sign in as current user so all the time you will be signed you you won't be signed out you can just log in and it won't ask your credential again and again but right now i'll just i'll just select this one go for, if you know your uh, reason fine if you don't know just select uh, don't know i know my reason it's north america now give your username click on login it will take some time and it may uh, okay uh, can't connect to microsoft dataverse so maybe this is wrong okay the spelling is wrong here Now I have enabled multi-factor authentication, so I need to approve it from my phone. Now, as soon as the connection is established, uh, we'll see our environments. That is, uh, sales trial, ES trial, Dynamics Power environment, anything you can choose. I'll just go with the sales trial. Any of the environment, click on login. Uh, now you can give any name uh, like whenever uh, here curve sales is there so same way you can give any name like dynamics power it will be easy uh, to remember you don't have to go with the uh, default name now click on finish okay now here uh, our microsoft dataverse is linked here in order to see all the connections you can just on the left button you can click on this drop down and you will see there are two environments connected with my xrm toolbox so from here itself you can click go with the connect uh, edit delete or from here also you can just select or delete if the work is done uh, now coming towards let's talk about the tools so you have to go to the tools library here you will be able to see all the 334 tools so here we can see advanced app manager attribute naming bulk workflow executions whatever if i have to if you want to select, uh, search just go with the search which okay if not here xml okay here xml builder is there fetch xml tester is there so you can see all of them and you can just click on any of them and here you will get the option to install uninstall if it is not installed whatever install uninstall it is retrieving some information and now install option is enabled so you can come to this page you can search any of the tools and you can install uninstall i'll be showing you an example later now suppose you have installed uh, some 10 tools from here then you can see your tools under here under the tools button whatever you install from here it should be reflected under the tools a sample tool a chart manager crm email organizers so these are the tools which i have already installed or maybe installed by default if once you install so now uh, will I have already told you how to install it how to create a connection right now we'll see how we can uh, oh, we'll see how to uh, we'll see uh, how to install uh, any of the tools available and perform some actions so let's go to here let's see fetch XML fetch XML here fetch xml builder let's install it so it is downloaded meanwhile i'll tell you five of the most tools which are used under uh, which are used in xrm toolbox first one is xrm toolbox uh, another one is like for, it is used for uh, plugin registration tool, metadata browser, solution components, uh, site map editor, solution components. All those things, all those are these are most of the, um, uh, these are the five of the most useful tools on in XRM toolbox. 
So plugin uh, registration tool is used for to manage and deploy custom plugins. Fetch XML builder is used for to create and execute fetch XML queries. Same, same way metadata browser, it is used to explore and analyze metadata components uh, and leave all the things. Let's just go with the fetch XML right now. I think it's installing tools, close, go to tools. Here, if it is installed, then it should be visible here. Okay, it is fetch XML builder is visible. Just double click. Let's see. These are the details. You can just, if you want, you can go through all of them or just continue. Okay, so we have our this fetch XML builder uh, tool open here. And also, if you have multiple tools, then it is very easy. Whatever tool you open, it will be open in the new tab, and you can just switch between all of them. So here we'll just uh, go with the uh, to create. I'll create uh, one fetch XML queries for uh, entity. Uh, so for that, you can see top 50 or whatever you want. Okay, let it go here. We can choose. Let's go with the hundred. I want hundred records. And in the entity, we can select it from entity here down. Let's go with the contact. Okay. And once it is done, we can click on execute. This is the uh, 100 records or whatever records we have and in order to view the XML queries this is in the report template so for that you just click on convert and SQL query JavaScript O data one minute here view okay in the view section you can see fetch XML so click on fetch XML and here you have the fetch XML queries this is a simple one now in order to uh, add some more conditions or filters you can just click on the contact right side go to add and you can add attribute filter order link entity anything so i'll just select attribute and uh, attribute name let it be uh, address line one fine and execute it and go on the view fetch xml so now this is so added, added with some uh, attributes so this is all about uh, uh, introduction features, downloading, installation, connections part, installing any of the tools. The same way you can go to tools library and you can uh, like if I have to uh, install ribbon workbench, just type ribbon and click on this and install it. Same, it is the same with all. So now we can say that uh, XRM toolbox, it is a highly valuable tool in the Dynamics 365 uh, in our community. As it simplifies uh, customization, data management, administration tasks, and so many others. Also, it offers 334 tools and more than that in the future. Uh, it supports activities like, uh, as I already mentioned, data import, export, schema customization, plugin development, fetch XML, blah blah, and all. Uh, and these all are uh, all can be configured under the same uh, same this interface and that too. Uh, if I have to talk about uh, plugin development, there are some features or we'll, uh, there are some restricted things which we cannot perform in, in the plugin registration tool. It will throw some error or it has some limitations. So in order to overcome that, we can just come here. You can uh, install uh, the plugin registration tool. And from here, if you do, it will be very easy to, to ignore all those errors. Uh, so uh, this is all about XRM toolbox. Uh, there are a lot of tools which I'll be covering one by one in another video. So for the next video, I'll show you how to download, how to use this tool, XRM toolbox to upload document template via XRM toolbox, which cannot be done via uh, solution import export. So that one I'll be covering in the next video. Meanwhile, if you have any doubts, you can just comment down. Uh, I'll try to get it back. Thank you.